Hey guys, this is Suru Parje. Welcome back to Linux in 11 minutes. So, this is our sixth video. In the first one, we have discussed about file and directories. Second, file formation, compression, decompression. Third, user and group management. Fourth, network proxy setting. Five, installing software in Ubuntu. Today, we are going to discuss how to work with remote connection or remote server using I'll, I'll, be, I'll be telling about SSH secure shell and SFTP secure file transfer protocol and the SCP secure copy okay as usual I have listed all the commands in a notepad the reason I do that you know so that else I can share these commands in the description part of my YouTube video you can get it there okay so let's begin our tutorial on work how to work with remote server okay so as you can see here I have listed some uh, UN means username and RH means remote host so first I, I'll be discuss I'll be I'll discuss SSS secure shell connection then i'll discuss about sftp secure file transfer and all those commands how to use that and how to copy file from remote host to local system and local system to remote host okay then third i'll be telling about scp which is secure copy so from local host how to access the remote host file download and upload all those things okay then three things I'll be telling SCP then SFTP then the SSS part oh let's begin with the SSS part SSS stand for secure cell so right now we are in the desktop and inside that local directory okay the command uh, to connect to your server the command is simple SSH then the username mine is b.hwrup then your server which you want to connect then server ip address or the domain name is also suffice so my mine is 172.16.112.13 you can give minus y for visual purpose so it will ask for password enter the password and now you are in the server mine is matlab server so if i'll give the command matlab it will give me the gui of the metal soft so here for file copying and other purpose i have created the server directory so inside that i'll be having two files server 1.txt and server 2.txt and a directory called a local directory okay so in desktop and local directory I have created one uh, in desktop. I have created one directory called local directory, and inside which there are two files local1.txt and local2.txt. Right? So, using SFTP and SCP, I'll show you how to move or copy file from local local system to the remote host. Okay? Local host to the remote, remote host. So, second, we'll talk about SFTP secure file transfer protocol okay so the connection it it uses the same ssh connection to authenticate the command is same so i am using the transparent terminal so that in the background you can see the commands you know the command is sftp then the username b dot swaru mine one and at the rate the remote ip address okay so it will again ask for the password type the password then you are in sftp mode so you are in the you are in the inside the term, uh, remote host and you can do all the file transfer um, options you know the pwd you can check uh, we are in the b.swarup directory in the remote host so ls you can check the list of files then you can using the commands are same cd ls mkdir pwd and all those things so right now we are in the remote working directory home b.sorup and inside server dir okay 
so inside server dir there are two files and um, there are two files server one dot txt and server two dot txt okay so i'm trying to remove this local directory but it's showing some problem anyway we'll deal about that later so as ls is for this uh, everything for the same command are for remote directory if you want to work on local working directory just prefix l in every command like if pwd is the command type lpwd it will show the local command, uh, directory which we are in the local directory okay and lls means in the local list of files we have two two files local one dot txt and local two dot txt okay so we have covered about commands in remote host and commands in local host okay so now i am going to show you how to download from remote host so i have opened two terminals so correspondingly i will be showing the text files the downloads and the uploads all those things that will be easy the for downloading a file the command in simple gt then the we have server one dot txt in our remote directory remote directory is remote uh, directory which is called uh, which is named as server directory so get then the file name now i'll show you in the local the left side is local uh, considered like a local terminal and the right side is remote desktop uh, remote terminal okay so see we have copied the server one dot txt so okay now if you want to get multiple files the command is mget then the star dot if you want all the text file then star means get all the text file dot txt or if you want image then dot jpg which in my notepad it's there and right now see i've got uh, server one dot txt and server two dot txt also so it's working and then you want if you want to copy the directory uh, then move, uh, move back navigate back then pwd you are in the b dot soro then you have um, just do ls then you have this server directory then if you want to copy the directory the command is same you just need to press minus r this is for recursively copying every files okay, okay. now just see see you have the server directory and the local uh, folder also local directory folder direct folder also because we have copied that from the remote host so this was all about downloading files from remote host so we can upload file to the remote host also the uh, command is same in place of get just uh, use put put so let's create one directory inside the server directory so let's name it as server then it has when we get into the server directory sorry then we are working inside home b.sorup server directory in server okay so in server directory we have no files now i'll uh, now in the the local working directory is uh, we are in the local directory and we have these many files now i'll put one file into the server folder put command is put then the file dot txt local one dot txt so see now i'll show you okay so i'm going to skip you the next commands because they are all the same like multiple files input and directory put minus r so these are all same and if you want to uh, exit from the sftp then the command is exit okay so the third is secure copy so in the sftp we are working from remote uh, means remote host in the from the server terminal right server mainly now we'll work from uh, our locally and we can access all those things okay so first uh, i'll show you how to uh, move copy file from local host to remote host okay let's log in first now in the directory home.v.soru 
and these are the files present right now and let's check the local directory so these are the files present in the local directory left side is local directory and right side is for server remote directory okay okay so let, let's list the file in the desktop then go to local directory let's clear the screen then in the local directory we have two text files local one dot txt and local two dot txt so we'll copy local one dot txt to the remote host so the command is scp for secure copy the file name local one dot txt you can see the command in the background also and then the username v dot soru at the rate and then the ip address you know? and space the uh, give colon and the path in which you want to put that so in remote host create a uh, directory called prabhat then move uh, navigate inside prabhat prabhat directory then get set uh, path using pwd and copy that one and you can you know this is the path in which i want to put the local one dot txt give the password okay so check here see we have just moved the local one dot txt okay so next if you want to copy this local one dot txt in the home folder just after colon just type the tilde sign okay it will put the respected file in the home folder you can see navigate back in the server then this is the home you see local one dot txt is there okay so okay then navigate back to prabhat because we want to copy some of other things into prabhat so if you want to copy multiple files just type another name like local one dot txt then local two dot txt scp the file names multiple file names then the uh, credentials and then the path okay then check in the remote server directory see these two files are copied okay so next is how to copy directory okay just i have named it away and the generalization is directory name okay the command is scp minus r for recursively downloading then the directory name then the path name and we can also this is same as so i'm not going to show it another thing is if you want to use specific port you know if you uh, like mine is 3128 if you want to use like here one example i have taken like 2264 or 1234 you can do that using scp then minus p then give a port number something then oh, it's not connecting the problem is like i have already connected to the server from this ip so it might take it might be a problem so still it's not connecting Okay, okay, let me check first. Actually, the command is it's not minus uh, the P is a small letter, you know. Uh, sorry for the mistake. The P is a small letter, SCP minus small letter P, then some port number, and then the then the command is same. So like this you can ex uh, you can access using specific port sometimes you know the ports are occupied by different applications so you can access using a free port like one two three four also see you can access using any port number okay so let's log in there let's check see local 1.txt is there local 2.txt is there let's clear the screen 
So this is all about local host copying lo files from local host to remote host. Now I'll show you how to copy file from remote host to the local host. The command is scp username, then the remote host, and then uh, colon, then the text file, and the file name. So if you want to copy something from the remote host to the uh, local folder, just type scp, then the username, then the uh, remote host address, then the uh, text file name, two moon, here two moon new dot txt, then the path, I, I have given tilde so that it will copy to the home folder. So let's go to the, the uh, home folder using command cd dot dot slash dot dot, so it will move. Uh, it will trace back to directories so now we are in the home so go to soro cd then the part swrp then tab and go to soro then here we can find the two moon dot text and two moon new dot text so this is how we copy file from remote host to the local host local system so the next is uh, uh, copying file from one remote host rh1 to a second remote host rh2 the command is scp then the username then the remote host one and the path of the file and file's name then the remote host two then the path of the fi uh, file okay and for copying multiple files this is the command scp username the remote host then colon tilde slash backslash and the inside bracket the file name okay. so we have discussed scp sftp then ssh so this was all about the remote server connection and the copying files from from and to remote server and the uh, local system so ssh SFTP, SCP. Guys, this is very important for system server admin point of view. These tools are very important. Okay, so that's it from me. Thank you for watching Linux in 11 minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day.